Vanadium electrolyte is part of the solution to unleash a massive exponential development in renewable energy. Big problem with renewable energy is wind farms work, but you don't know when the wind's going to blow. So the, the real bottleneck has always been over storage. How do you store electricity in a cost-effective way? So if you produce a lot, you can hang on to it. The electric grid is actually referred to as the world's biggest supply chain without a warehouse. So essentially you're building the grid for peak power. There's a thing called a redox battery. And the redox battery technology has been around for a bit, it's been refined, but it needs vanadium electrolyte in order to work. Essentially these are huge vats of, of vanadium and sulfuric acid. And what's unique about them is they're fully scalable. You can charge discharge instantaneously and do that thousands and thousands of times. So they're going to last over 20 years. From a national security perspective in the United States, they're worried about their grid. They're worried about what happens if part of the grid goes down. The vanadium redox battery resolves those issues. The demand for the mass storage industry could uh, consume up to 100% of the current uh, global vanadium supply. Everybody thinks of vanadium as, as an industrial metal stock, but I know where its future is, and it's as a green tech stock. It's kind of nice when you're involved with a project that the president refers to directly when he talks about vanadium redox batteries and technology that's being developed in the United States in order to achieve those objectives. Having demonstrated that we can actually produce vanadium electrolyte as part of our process, and being the only vanadium mine in the United States, this presents a real critical strategic opportunity for the company. And the United States government is fully aware of this. With political goals driving renewable energy solutions, the widespread adoption of energy storage is clearly at a tipping point and only further emphasizes the need for a reliable domestic supply of vanadium electrolyte to support a key storage technology. Vanadium required in flow batteries for grid-scale energy storage applications as an emerging use could dwarf all other uses combined. Vanadium battery chemistries have even caught the attention of automotive manufacturers as they strive to create a battery-powered solution for their industry. In research, lithium vanadium batteries have been shown to have the greatest energy density, which is critical to range. So a number of car manufacturers are actually working hard to put these batteries in their lines. In fact, in late 2010, a car using lithium vanadium batteries broke the world record by going over 600 kilometers on a single charge. Uh, American vanadium has a great future ahead of us. Uh, we're, we've got our first deposit uh, coming out with a feasibility study this year. We've just acquired the Del Rio property last fall, uh, the Hot Creek property last fall, and those are all brand new occurrences with vanadium just laying around at the surface. We've got a low cost operation. It's going to be the only primary vanadium producer in the U.S., making it a critical strategic opportunity. But when it comes to security of the grid, when it comes to achieving those goals that must be achieved for energy self-sufficient reduction of greenhouse gases, this project could not have come along at a better time. It's a great time to, to be in the vanadium business. I, I, I truly believe it. American vanadium, the critical element.